Lele Zapdos Metagross Gastrodon Landorus Etar. It's been a hot minute since I've seen a Gastrodon. You think he's ready to eat that young Leaf Blade, boys? I think so. I think I'm gonna go Glade and Coco, and I think I'm gonna Electro Web him. I'm thinking about it. I'm looking at that play. I actually think it's probably better to just go Melodic. Because Melodic's good against the Landorus, and, uh... Melodic's good against the Landorus. I see when Stilbers gets both those, I can still hard switch in, like, Bulu, take away the Psychic Terrain, and, you know, I'll figure something out. <laughs> yeah, alright, here we go. Glade Melodic. Uh, Bulu's still coming. I actually think Aegislash is probably really good here. No doubt I say probably really good. It's just, I don't want to bring my Sash Coco to fight against Aegislash. Yeah, here we go. Locking it up. Lilligross is a pretty weird matchup, I think. Uh, it's the meta- if we can- if we can gimp that Metagross somehow, I'm gonna be in a real good spot. So we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just thinking, uh, I don't- I don't think he's gonna let me just style on him. He might hard switch in a Gastrodon expecting a Scald. So if he leads with something that's incredibly Scaldable... Yeah, we'll see. Lele Zapdos. Alright, this is actually decent for me. I just don't know if it's a Scarf Lele. So we're gonna do our best to play around that. And just go for Protect uh, Gallade this turn. Yeah. We're just gonna Protect with Gallade. We're actually also not gonna Mega Evolve. The reason why you don't Mega Evolve, I think... Let's just make sure this Gallade's right. Gallade's one of those Pokemon that you don't want to Mega Evolve with immediately. Because it has a really decent ability. Yeah, this is a Justified Gallade. So I'm not going to Mega Evolve. And if I have to switch, I can always just switch out and switch back in on a potential Dark Attack later on in the game. So I'm just going to regular Protect... I mean, if for some reason he goes for some sort of Dark EMZ Lele, I don't even know how he would do that. But if he goes for some Dark EMZ Lele, I'm going to get an attack boost. And then we're just going for the uh, Icy Wind here. I really do think it's a Scarf Lele. And if he's going for Tailwind, you know, we're going to slowly be able to Icy Wind him down. Definitely, maybe. If he's going for a Z-Move on Gallade, we'll be fine. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. So Gallade's protecting. This might be a little bit too passive. But he goes for the Moonblast. That is a Scarf Lele. It's faster than a Zapdos. And you just go for the Tailwind. Cool. I'm going to switch out my uh, Gallade next turn, I think. Probably for Aegislash and just Icy Wind again. And then Icy Wind a third time and then my Pokemon should be faster than it. So Icy Wind, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so Scarflow is locked into Moonblast. Maybe I should switch Bulu in. Uh, no, I'm going to switch Aegislash in. I could actually protect here. I will protect here. I'm going to try and act. I already have the speed advantage that I need. And there's no reason for me to just eat an electric attack right now. I can hard switch in Bulu next turn. Activate the terrain, wait out the tailwind, and then technically his monster at minus one. So we're going to play a lot more passive than I would realistically like to take it. But I think this gives us the options. It's also slowly taking away his multiple advantages. Right now he has speed control. He has uh, field dominance. He has, you know, he's pinned both of my mons here. But we just got to take away those advantages he has one turn at a time. So we're protecting the Penelope. We're going to hopefully be blocking like some sort of electric attack. Uh, he's going for a Moonblast on Aegislash. Again, that's not really going to be doing that much damage. He might get a special attack drop, which would suck. It sucks. It forces us to actually Z-move his Lele next turn. And he is Z-moving Rylotic, so we're... actually it really sucks that we're walking burying this. But it's not the end of the world. I still think we can eat a Thunderbolt if I had to, if I had to guess. Sucks, yeah, it really sucks we wasted our berry, but also, like, we protected, so it's like we'll be taking so much less damage than normal here. Let's see what he goes for. He's hitting the Melodic, and then we're going to switch up Melodic next turn. Oh, did it not proc our berry? Huh. There he goes. Oh, it said walking berry, it just didn't, I don't know if it showed it. Oh, right, yeah, so what we're going to do with this turn is we are going to be, I think I just want to sub this turn. And I'm going to hard switch out the Melodic for Bulu. I don't have to Z-move yet. I don't technic- I don't really want to. I don't want to Z-move right now. I want him to- I want to save my Z-move for Metagross. So he's withdrawing Lele. Is that the young Metagross? Landorus. Alright. Bruh, I just switched out my freaking Melodic! That's okay. It's alright. He's expecting me to Z-move it. And he's also saving the Lele to use later, which is a good play. Let's see... 
We haven't seen Heat Wave on Zapdos yet. We've just seen Tailwind and Z move. So, I mean, I actually think that's going to be a Scarf Lando. As long as it's not a special sweep Orlando, I think we're going to be okay. You just for T Bolt. Awesome. Don't paralyze me. All right. Did it. So, Tailwind should be going away this turn. That's actually pretty, pretty good for me, I think. How do I want to win this? I have a Vested Bulu. Is last turn Tailwind? The last turn this turn. That doesn't really matter. Hmm. I don't want a King Shield. I don't know if he has Heat Wave. I wish I had Wide Guard. But all these moves are very good here. I don't know if there's a reason to Toxic. I think I'm just going to Shadow Ball the Landorus and uh, Horn Leech it. Note that I'm Horn Leeching instead of Wood Hammering, because I'm not intimidated. I can get away with this. Here we go. Let's see what he's working with. All right, here we go. EQ. It's totally fine. And I think I think it's gonna be uh, I think I think it's gonna be a Scarf Lando. So I think we should be able to take it out this turn. Hopefully my blue is back to full. He's probably heat waving. Realistically, either heat wave or HP ice. And that breaks our sub. He goes for a heat wave. Misses on Boo. I'll take that. Don't kill my Aegislash, Slash though. I don't think he will. Yeah, don't burn me either. Close, close. Horn Leech, baby. Big damage. Yes. Get me going all the way back up. I love it. I absolutely adore it. And we should be able to KO the Alandris this turn, I think. Okay, how do I want to do this? Oh no, we didn't! Alright, that actually kind of sucks. Tail and Peter's out. Alright, that's fine. He's going to retail when we done. He's going to Earthquake and Retail Wind. Right? Do I want to... Do I just want to let Age of Slash go down? It let me bring in one of my Mons relatively safely. I think I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to pop the Nevering Nightmare on Zapdos and go for a Rock Slide here. As weird as that sounds, I think this could actually go very well for me if he does any switches at all. He just goes for a knockoff. Totally fine. He knows. He knows that we're vested. This fucking guy. Is he tail winning? Oh, can we flinch that Zapdos, by the way? Oh my goodness. That would be so big for me. Because remember, Zapdos is at minus one speed. That Icy one, the first turn, is going to be paying dividends here. What do we got? Flinch the Zapdos. That's what I'm talking about. Popping off the Z Crystal. He slept on us for one turn. He didn't want to He didn't wanna play the game by the rules and just go for the safe EQ Tailwind. And, uh, I'll take it. I mean, he might have been tail winning, but, like, you know what I mean? He went for a, I think he went for a greedy play, not attacking the Age of Slash. I think that was greedy. And we are at minus one. We're totally at minus one, but, like, bruh, that was huge taking out that Zapdos. Huge. Alright. Hmm. I mean, I could King Shield and Hard Switch. He's gonna be sending out Lele Gross here, I think. So we still have all four Mons. As long as we can reset his terrain. Hmm. This is still... Ah, oh, damn it. This is still... This is... I haven't even won yet, man. But it's like a really hard struggle. It's Scarf Lele. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking like, maybe it's Scarf Lando. But like, you still are using Scarf Lele. So we'll see. How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to King Shield. Is my... My Melodic still at full? I think if I think actually the the weakest link in this team right now is the Gallade, as weird as that sounds. So I think I'm gonna King Shield and hard switch in my Gallade to fodder it. Cause Bulu needs its terrain to take away my opponent's terrain so they can't KO my uh, melodic. And I think once I get that going, we should be able to grind him. Maybe we'll get like a burn on the Metagross or something. He's going Mega. I think he's probably just going for an Iron Head on my Gallade slot and a Psychic onto my uh, Aegis Slash slot. That's what I'd be doing if I were him in this case scenario. And that special attack drop's actually really, really hurting me right now. Let's see. He might not even have been hitting Aegis Slash. He goes for a Moonblast. Oh! He's going to get redirected! Yes! He's planning on doubling. Oh, please get a spe Please get a minus two. Ice Punch, yes! It got redirected into it! Oh, yeah. Yup. 
that's one of the things we needed. We just bring the Bulu back out. That that Metagross is at minus right now. And the Lele's terrain's gone. Okay. I have not won yet. How do I get out of this? Moonblast should not kill my Aegislash, but he can nuke me. Not King Shield. I think we're just going to nuke the Lele. I think I actually have to go for the Wood Hammer as much as I don't want to. I think I have to. Here we go, boys. This is it. Moonblast. He's been Moonblast my Aegislash, I think. Oh, he's Moonblasting the Bulu. He's going for the same play he did last turn. If I still have my vest. Oh, he's ignoring the Bulu! This might not even KO, bro. I was going to say. I said, might not. I'm on it. He's a minus two, right? It's not stabbed. That power of that tough claws. Here we go. Big damage into the Lele slot, by the way. Get that out of here. I probably could have horn leeched. I probably should have horn leeched, but it's okay. Bulu's still alive and kicking. Holy moly, boys. Are you guys ready for the plays to be made? You know what we have on this Bulu, right? I just want to check their speed turns to make sure this actually worked. Because we have Nature's Madness. That Metagross isn't minus two, right? Oh, dude, I love it. So let's just check it out. So here we go. We got Melodic Space Speed is 123, Bulu is 118. No! Damn. It's alright, we're just gonna Scald. There's no reason Nature's Madness, then. Is there? I think I'd be better off just... I will Nature's Madness, still. I, I was thinking about just going for a, a Horn Leech. He's gonna go for the iron. He's probably just killing the Bulu. Yeah. So it didn't even matter. We didn't even have to show it. It's okay. He knew the Bulu couldn't break itself since he knocked off a vest, which is... He did the right play, I think. We're gonna get a burn right here, right now. Show me what you're working with, Melodic. Give me that burn on that Metagross. Damn it. Damn it, dude. Damn it. Now, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a close one, I think. He's a minus two. He's gonna go for... He's gonna go for Flinch Town. I don't think one Icy one makes us faster than him, so that's why I'm not going for it. Maybe I should be. It's kind of hard to say. He's going for tantrums. He doesn't want to miss. I don't think he has that headbutt. I think he has protect tantrum. Oh, that does not do enough. Yeah, we, we got him. And we're going to get a burn this turn. Damn it, dude. Come on. What is this? I used two skulls. No burn? Yo, give me that burn. Give me that burn. I want it. Give it to me. He has to get big crits to win this game. And I don't think he's going to get it. There's a, He's going for flinch town now. He's resigned himself to crossing fate. Oh, not like this. Not like this. I just got to really recover off. Yeah, I think we'll get this. It just might take a little while. We actually have a lot less end game time than he does. So, like, he could totally time us if he flinches us 30 times. But I'll feel a lot safer once I'm topped off. Yep, totally topped off. Now I just got to spam Scald. I think all he was doing is, like, checking for a cover. He's probably just going to run after this turn. All because of that one turn that he slept on our Aegis Slash, man. Such a misplay. Alright, no more pesky grassy terrain. Grassy terrain, I think, was helping him out more than me. Here we go. Stomping Tantrum. I don't think Stomping Tantrum is reduced by grassy terrain, is it? No. And he can't flinch. Like, I don't... I, maybe he's just going for crits at this point. Maybe he's going for two crits with Stomping Tantrum. I don't know about that. I mean, that might have been the best play. It's hard to say. Forfeit. We take it, boys! We did it! Oh, dude, that was a rough game. That was a real rough game, but I was very straightforward in what I needed to do to win, and I, I stuck to my guns. CH team looks like we see Feeny Salamence, Feeny Salamence, Clefairy, Cresselia, Zapdos, and Cinderor. I think uh, I think uh, Melodic is really, really good here. I think I'm going to do the same play I did in a previous game and go like the Gallade Melodic lead. And just hard switch in the Bulu and go for the big Weave Blade. On the, uh, what is it? Onto the mini slot if I need to. And then the last time I brought Aegis Slash, it didn't do enough. But that was because I was fighting against, like, Kangs and stuff like that. Maybe I should bring, like, Coco this time? What is the item on this Coco? Is it Sash? Are you Sashed? Yes! Oh, dude, I love Sash Coco, guys. You guys know I'm a fan of Sash Coco. Now, the only problem here is I don't want to get Trick Roomed, but I don't think he's going to. I just don't want to bring Aegislash and get grinded out by, like, Incineroar, like, or pinned by the Incineroar. I think I'm going to bring the Coco instead. Double Tapu, boys. I'm going to pin the heck out of that beanie. Here we go. Here we go. 
I love Sash Coco. Dude. Sash Coco is probably in the past three or four months has become just one of my favorite mons. It's so, so good. Like, you don't need the damage. You need that speed. You need the survivability. It's just, it sticks on the board so much longer than any other Coco set, I think. So let's see what he leads with. This leads really good against Feenies. And if he leads with, like, Incineroars and stuff like that, we're still fine. So he leads Zapdos, Clefairy. I still think, like, he's going to go Tailwind. Like, follow me, Tailwind. I'm just going to go... I think I'm just going to Icy Wind and Rock Slide. And if he wants to go with, like, a, a Z-Move play or something like that, I think we'll be fine. And if he wants to just Thunderbolt my Wadic, we have a Walkin' Berry on this set. So it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. Let's see what you're working with here. He's probably not switching in any Intimidators yet. So he might just be going, like, a... He could be going Z-Move. I was going to say, he could switch out, proc my competitive, but, like, plan on Z-moving us, and wish he wouldn't have, and just would have gotten bodied, but he's not. I think he's just going follow me, Tailwind. So that's why Rockside's really good here. Hmm. Hell big hand, holy moly, he's going for it. I wonder if he's Z-moving, or if he's just Thunderbolting like a Lade. So Rockslide makes connections here. Remember, Clefairy has Friend Guard, so Zapdos isn't taking as much damage as it should. But he still takes a pretty good amount, and we get that young flinch and the icy wind. That's the that's the real play is the icy wind here. I love it. And now, like, even if he wants to go for other stuff, like, we're in a pretty decent spot. Technically, we should KO with another two hits, and both of our mounts are fast enough now. So I'm just gonna go for rock slide again. And if he wants to switch an intimidator to uh like he loses like if he switches out Clefairy for an Intimidator, he loses his friend guard and procs our Icy Wind. So our procs our uh, competitive among Lodic. So we're in a really good spot here. As long as we hit both of these moves, we should technically have enough damage to take out the Zapdos. So here we go. Rock slide hits. Show me that big damage. And it's all up to Icy Wind. Here we go. We make connections! That was a wasted follow me, my guy. A wasted. And Clefairy is also at minus two speed. Not that it really matters, but kind of matters. So pretty good stuff. I mean, who would have thought Mega Galade Melodic is a pretty sick lead. And remember, if he has like that Feeny, I think we're still in a good... I'll, I'll totally go for that play. There's no reason for him to like follow me, right? Not against this. He knows that I'm AoE. He feels the AoE. He knows what's up with the AoE. I'm going to go for the, the, uh, the sick play. I'm going to go for the sick play. And uh, I don't think he's going to follow me. And even if he does follow me, um, then we just KO the Clefairy, and it'll, and we and then we just have a Bulu on the board. Like, yes, please sign me up. Dude, Melodic is so pressed right now. He can't bring the Intimidators. He wants to intimidate this Gideon so much. I can feel him wanting to intimidate me so much, and he just can't. So Bulu's gonna switch in here. What this is gonna do? It's gonna change the field to the grassy terrain, and that's a really big deal because we're going for a Leaf Blade with Glade being powered by the grassy terrain. Clefairy's going for a protect. Now this Feeny is going to have the Friend Guard boost from Clefairy, but we got chances to crit. We got a lot of damage here. That's not. It's not enough. It's not enough. Almost. Here's for Calm Mind. Again, this is just. It's not enough. It's just not enough. I think we're just gonna go. Let's see. I wonder if he has Salamence or if he has, uh, like, what it is that he has in the back. Salamence or Incineroar. I think he has Incineroar. I don't think it was a Lander. I think it was Incineroar. Yeah. So I think we're just going to go Weave Blade again. I think we're just going to go Weave Blade into the Feeny slot. And uh, I think we're actually going to Woodhammer the Clefairy. Just because I want that thing gone. I don't care about taking the small amounts of recoil. And if he does hard switch out, this thing's taken the most damage that something can possibly take. And remember, Feen he does get his Intimidate off here, but Feeny loses that uh, friend guard, so we still should be able to KO here with a Leaf Blade, I think, unless he's protecting. All right, all right, we just gotta switch it up then. Hmm. A sick play next turn would be to switch out the Salamence for Clefairy to give the friend guard, because it would have got like a free Intimidate in there. This Salamence is gonna take a lot still. Like, oh shit, I'm just hitting. Why did that do nothing? Why did that do absolutely nothing? That's ridiculous. All right. Let's see, how do I want to win this game then? I think I'm just going to nuke the Feeny slot. I just got to take it out. I think I'm going to Rock Slide and actually just go for a Wood Hammer there. Because we're actually running a pretty cool Bulu set in that we're running um, an Assault Vest Bulu. So if he goes for a Hyper Voice, he's like, yeah, double super effective. I could probably get away with a Calm Mind too. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You could probably, you might not even kill the Mega Glade with a, with a Hyper Voice. He's switching out the Feeny for Fairy, so he's spottering that slot here. And he's giving it- oh, he might be Tailwinding here. That'd be a really good Tailwind, by the way. Like, switching in Clefairy there, he might be protecting. 
but I really think he's tail winning with Salamence. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's a I think it's a relatively safe one too. We're faster. Oh, we miss. That's not cool. No, no, not today, man. That's lame. And there's a Dragon Dance. Relatively the same play, but uh, a little bit scarier. A little bit scarier here. We should be able to KO the Clefairy this turn. But yeah, that was a uh, that was kind of lame. All right, so we still have a few Mons left. We have our Melodic. We have Intimidated Mons left and right. If he wants to go for... Let me just think about this. If he wants to go for Hyper Voice, he won't get KOs. If he wants to go for uh, Double Edge, he's going to take a ton of Recoil, and I think we can use that to our advantage. I just don't know if I want to hit the Feeny slot. Yeah, I don't have the Grassy Terrain anymore. That really sucks. I think he's going to Double Edge my... Uh... Yeah, I really am getting a Double Edge vibe onto my Bulu slot. You can't protect itself. I think I'm just going to... I think this turn, I'm just going to go for another Rock Slide. And I'm just going to go for a Wood Hammer into the Feeny. I think that's just the play. If he wants to protect and KO the Boo, he's going to take a ton of recoil. Frustration, okay. That's a little bit different. That actually really sucks, in my opinion. And he got a crit, he didn't really need it. Frustration doesn't mean he takes that big recoil. I wanted him to take the recoil. That was like the reason why I did this. So Salamis takes some chip here. We're probably going to be losing Gallade this turn. Oh, he flinched. I'll keep my Gallade. Gallade is mine. You cannot have it. Here we go. Coco's about to be popping it off, though. Now, we haven't seen that much about the Salamence. Um, let's think about how I want to play this. Coco's here. It has Sash. He doesn't know that I have Sash. He might protect Beanie Earthquake. He might go for um, Protect. I'm pretty sure I can KO Salamence with a Thunderbolt. I don't want to go for a d because I don't want to proc the... Uh, yeah, I don't want to proc that Salamence's... Sorry, I don't want to proc the Feeny's Berry. Ooh, what if I just went for an Electro Web? No, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt and the Salamence. I was thinking about protecting Glade and Electro Webbing. He's protecting with Feeny. He might KO my Glade this turn. I have absolutely no problem with him KOing my Glade, by the way. He does go for the Protect Earthquake. It's almost like I play this game. He's not going to be able to pick up any KOs this turn, and I just have to be able to KO this uh, Salamence here. I have to KO Salamence with this Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm timid. I have full investment special attack. Let's see how bulky this guy really is. Please go down. Para. Oh, we got the para. I was going to be like, the last chance I have is a para. And we actually take it. Holy moly. That's pretty big. Yeah, all we really have to do is just close combat the Salamence. It's resisted, but it should still KO. And Thunderbolt. I don't want to proc the Feeny Berry. You know it's a berry on the Feeny. That young para... 10% of the time, every time. Technically, if it were me, I'd be running a, uh... This is a QR team. If I was me, I'd be running Sash, uh, Modest Coco. So, like, I would technically have just KO'd anyways. But, uh, we take those. Those are the things that I take here, man. Let's see. I think I can KO the Salamence with a, um... With a close combat. I kind of have to, right? And let's see what he's going for. He might go for a double protect play. That might be the only redeeming thing. And I don't want to miss the Rock Slide on the Salamence like I did before. Yeah, I also did miss a rock slide on that Salamence. That really does matter. So, forfeit. Yeah, he just goes with the forfeit. Dude. Dude, why you got a forfeit like that, though? I take those. I take those. I don't think he should have forfeit there, because if I would have went D-Gleam Leaf Blade, D-Gleam would have clocked his, uh, his berry, and then Leaf Blade wouldn't have KO'd. He would have went Muddy Water and got a double KO. I mean, I played around that. You know, that's why I went for the Thunderbolt Close Combat, but, you know, I don't think he should have forfeit. There's, like, one turn of left for me to mess up.